I can't believe it. This news has been spreading in the last few hours. We're all a little sad about our beloved Ohio State team's loss, but we need to talk about a subject that is affecting all the fans. This came to light after the Cotton Bowl game between the Buckeyes and Missouri. I will tell you all the details, fan, but before that, make sure to leave a like on the video. Now let's get straight to the point. The four things we learned from the Ohio State Buckeyes loss in the Cotton Bowl to Missouri. 1. The felt absences. Unfortunately, the Buckeyes played without quarterback Kyle McCord and the incredible wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. McCord transferred to Syracuse two weeks ago while Harrison was sidelined for the game. They were sorely missed by the team. During the regular season, Ohio State scored at least 20 points in every game except one. However, in the Cotton Bowl, they only scored one field goal. That was the Buckeyes' lowest score in a game since 2016. It became evident how crucial Harrison, a Heisman Trophy finalist, was to the offense throughout the season. Would the team have suffered more losses without them? 2. The search for a quarterback. The Cotton Bowl game was an opportunity for promising freshman Devin Brown, who challenged McCord for the starting position early in the season, to show his worth for the next year. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, Brown got injured in the first quarter and was replaced by another freshman, Lincoln Keenhold. Brown's performance was brief, completing only four passes for 20 yards. This short debut left Ohio State with little clarity at the quarterback position. Coach Ryan Day can still rely on Brown but he hasn't ruled out the possibility of seeking a new quarterback in the transfer mark. The future of the position is still uncertain. 3. The strength of the defense. Ohio State's defense had an impressive performance against Missouri's powerful offense. During the season, Missouri scored at least 30 points in almost every game, but the Buckeyes kept the Tigers from scoring for three quarters of the game, with an average of only 4.3 yards allowed per play. The defense recorded six sacks the highest number in a game since defensive coordinator Jim Knowles arrived. Despite some difficulties in the fourth quarter, the defense showed its strength and gave Ohio State a chance to win. Four issues with special teams. Ohio State's special teams faced some difficulties in the game. The punt return was not favorable for Lincoln Keenholz, the young quarterback who entered the game after Devin Brown's injury. In two of the first three possessions, the team was pinned near its own end zone, due to punt coverage errors. These mistakes put freshman Keenholz in difficult situations. It wasn't until the third quarter that he managed to complete a pass, as he had to deal with poor field position. These are the main lessons we can take from the Ohio State Buckeyes game against Missouri in the Cotton Bowl. Now we want to hear the fans' opinions. What do you think of these observations? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Together, let's continue supporting and cheering for our team. Go Buckeyes!